In this tutorial, we'll look at how to construct a bar graph in SPSS. And here we have the variable car color, where we have 15 different cars that were observed. As people drove by, someone noted the color of the car. And what I've done in this example is I've already entered my value labels. So for example, if I click on this button right up here, then I'll see the colors that the different numbers correspond to. So notice we have one, two, three, four white cars were observed and so forth. I'm going to turn these off for now, but you'll see how they're very useful in just a moment when we produce our bar graph. To produce a bar graph, let's go to Analyze and then Descriptive Statistics. And we can actually use the frequencies command to produce a bar graph. And then we can also use the graphs. I'll show you both ways. So we'll start with this, Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequencies. And then here I'm going to, you should see your window look like this. I'm going to move car color over to the variables box, select charts. And then here we want to select a bar chart, click continue. Let's deselect the display frequency tables and then click OK. And notice here, in this case, we get a bar chart where the variable is car color on the x-axis. The frequency is on the y-axis. We have our different car colors here. And, and the height of the bar indicates the frequency or how many of each car or each color car was observed. So we have two black cars were observed, four white cars, six blue cars, two red cars, and one green car. Now many of the options on this chart can be modified and I'll show you one quick modification we can make. If I double click on this chart what will happen is the chart editor will open as you see here and I'm going to double click on any of these bars. And when I do that, the Properties dialog box opens. Let's go ahead and go to Fill and Border, click on that tab, and then I'll select this blue color right here, and then click Apply. Then close this out. Notice what happened here. Now my bars are blue. This is one of the many options that can be modified in our charts. Let's go ahead and close this out, so click X. And then now we have our chart, and notice the blue color has been applied. Okay, as I said at the beginning, I was going to show you how to obtain this exact same chart using the Graphs menu command. So let's go to Graphs, go to Legacy Dialogs, and then go to Bar. Now here, a Bar Charts dialog box opens, and I want to leave the Simple and Summary for Groups of Cases default options in place. So just click Define. And then here, what we want to do, you should see a window like this with car color on the left. Go ahead and move that to the Category Axis box, and then click OK. And you should see that this gives us the exact same bar chart, with the only exception is that I haven't modified the color to be blue. And I, I won't do that now, but you saw how to do that, so I think you could do that as well. Okay, so we saw how to obtain a bar chart using two different approaches both the frequencies procedure and using the graphs legacy dialogues command. This concludes the tutorial on obtaining a bar chart in SPSS.